Hello everyone. It is good to see you all. It is good to see new people. And uh, it, this is a place where we encourage each other, where we edify each other. This is a place where we do not condemn people, but we welcome you. The, whether you have a different view or you have a similar view, you are all welcome. This is a place where we learn and we hear the voice of God. Now, go ahead and like the video, share the video with somebody else, and you will be blessed. Now, the word that I have for you is go through the process. You know, in many times, people think that some, when, when, when you receive God, when you receive Jesus, things all of a sudden, things will just happen uh, smoothly. That you will not go through bad, bad trials or you will not go through uh, hard times. You will have to go through this. He said, carry your cross. If they beat the Son of Man, they will beat you. If they despise the Son of Man, they too will despise you. They will reject you. I'm not saying that everyone is going to be beaten up, but someone may be beaten up and someone may be despised. Everyone has his own uh, process. Everyone has his own uh, things that he will go through. What your neighbor is going through may not be the same thing, but it is similar. You are all uh, going through hard times. And there are times whereby you go through uh, times where they are not hard, things that are good. You know, you have to go through the process. Do not complain. When bad things happen to you, praise God for the, good, for, for the bad things. Praise God for the good things. In all seasons, praise Him. You know, many, many people receive uh, prophetic words and uh, sometimes you're wondering when will that prophetic word come to fulfillment? When, it, when will it come to pass? But listen, you, when, sometimes you could, in most cases, you receive a prophetic word. It is the end result. You may not receive what is in between. Let me give you an example. Moses, he was told to go and deliver the, uh, the, the, the Israelites, the children of God, and take them to a promised land. But he was never told what is in between. He was never told whether they are going to face uh, bad things in the wilderness. Even Abraham. There are some things that were never told to him. I'll make you, uh, they, they told him that they will make him a father of all nations. But they, they were never, at the beginning, he was never told that he was going to sacrifice his son. Of course, you know that he didn't sacrifice his son, that God intervened. But there are some things when you, are, you receive prophetic words, you may never receive the in-between. But go through the process. You remember the Israelites when they went through the wilderness, they were told that they were going to the promised land. But when they went, uh, some of them, uh, they went, of course, they went through the, the desert and uh, they, they became thirsty. In fact, they complained. They wanted to go back to their slave masters in Egypt. They became hungry. They disobeyed within between, in, in, in the middle of the desert. 
They went through hard times. Some of them fell sick and died. But of course, you know that uh, their children enter the promised land. If you, if you don't know, you can read the scriptures. You will know that most of them, not all, but most of them, their children are the ones that attain the promised land. Because, you, of course, you know that uh, there's a group that disobeyed God and uh, God wiped them off and they did not make it. Even Moses himself did not make it. And yet he was told that he was going to the promised land. He was the one to lead them to the promised land, but he did not make it. But somebody else made it. Very powerful. So when you are given a prophetic word or when you are given a word from the Lord, uh, do not uh, get discouraged when you feel like it's taking so long. Just keep on believing. Go through that process. Go through that refining process, if I may say. And at the end of it, you will receive what was given to you. Remember, God is not a man that he should lie. If he promised you this, he will give you this. He will give you exactly what he promised you. In fact, he will even give you more than that for your obedience. Because you have walked a walk of faith. So, Go through the process. Go through that process. It may be rough. It may be a rough journey. It may be unbearable. In fact, they may laugh at you. They may call you crazy. And as I speak, some of you, some of the people are calling you crazy. They may call you blind, not knowing that they, they are the ones who are blind. You can see, but for them, they cannot see. It may be a road filled with stones. But you will make it. You will come out victorious. Remember, when you run a race, or if you have watched Olympics, it is only the winner that is awarded. Or probably the first three. The first is awarded. The one is awarded, uh, the first is awarded the, the, the gold, the gold medal, another one is awarded the silver, another is awarded bronze. But you are not looking at those, you are looking at the gold medal. It is those that cross the finish line. If you're number one, you'll be awarded. So run the rest, just as the, the Apostle Paul said. He has finished the race. He has kept the faith. So go through the process. Don't expect things to just happen just like that. You will not just be teleported like that. <laughs> the, the children of Israel were not terrible. God, God had the power because he's all powerful. He's all knowing. He could have teleported them from Egypt to the promised land. But why did he make them to go through the process? Why? Some of them were on, on, on they went through on their camels, on their horses, some of them on foot. Why did he do that to them? Because he wanted them to learn. The process is more important than the end. He wanted them to develop. He wanted them to know him that he can provide. But he had the power to do that, to, 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 to teleport them to the promised land. I hope this word has been a powerful word to you and I hope it has uh, helped you a lot. And for those that have questions, go ahead and send in your questions, send in your prayer requests and I will pray for you. Uh, I do read all the comments and uh, Thank you for watching this video till the end. Until next time, be blessed.